Hello, this is Karthik Krishnaswamy, Product Marketer here at Nginx. I'd like to provide a quick overview of Nginx Controller's API Management Module. The API Management Module enables you to manage the entire lifecycle of your APIs, starting with definition, managing traffic to your upstream servers, securing your backend servers, monitoring performance issues, and analyzing API usage to assess their value, all without compromising performance. Controller provides an intuitive, easy-to-use interface for API management. APIs defined through controller are pushed to API gateways across a multi-cloud environment. We have an innovative architectural approach to API management. Nginx eliminates the need for local databases or additional components that introduce needless complexity, latency, and points of failure for the API gateway. Unlike traditional API management solutions, Nginx isolates API runtime traffic from API management traffic. As a result, the Nginx Plus API Gateway data plane does not require constant connectivity to Nginx controller with control plane. This reduces complexity and maximizes performance by reducing the average response time to serve an API call. Both Nginx Controller and Nginx Plus are flexible and can be deployed on any environment due to their small footprint, be it bare metal, VMs, containers, public, cloud, private cloud, hybrid clouds. This versatility means you can use the Nginx Plus Nginx API management module for both internal and external APIs and easily deploy Nginx Plus in traditional environments to manage traffic, north-south traffic for monolithic applications, as well as deployed in containers to manage east-west traffic amongst microservices and distributed applications. Let me walk you through the product. I've already logged into Nginx Controller API Management Module. If I click on API Management, you see four items on the left-hand side here. Let's click on Entry Points. Entry Points is where you specify the host name that can be used by your API consumers to connect to your API ecosystem, to connect to your API backends. So let's go ahead and create an entry point. In this example, let's say we have we are a product company and we want to expose information about our products, pricing, inventory. So let's go ahead and create an entry point to expose our products, information about our products. So product API access, host name is product API access plain text ports 8443 80 80 80 you can also provide tls ssl ports this is also where you associate this particular entry point with a specific instance of nginx plus the api gateway which will actually process the apis we have defined we have already we already have a lot of nginx plus instances in our environment operating deployed on aws azure gcp so let's go ahead and Pick the first one here, associate this entry point with the Nginx Plus running on AWS. That's that, it's that simple, we've created an entry point. Let's create an upstream group. So we want to expose information about our products, call it product info, proxy scheme is HTTPS, and then create, upstream, actually add upstream servers. So product info upstream one, provide the port number, and you can also add additional upstream servers if you so desire. Let's actually go ahead and create API definitions. We want to expose information about our products, so call it product API, provide the base path then this is where we provide add resources to be able to provide information about the inventory you can you know have a prefix or make it an exact match you can also add another resource to provide information about pricing make it maybe an exact match and this is also where you can specify an environment so call it development environment and you can associate this particular environment with a specific entry point. We created the product API access entry point. You can do that. You can also add policies. You can add create policies for authentication using API key, JWP authentication. You can also create a rate limiting policy. Rate limiting is very important to protect your backend servers from unnecessary API calls. Let's say it's a DDoS attack basically protecting them by applying a rate limit and rejecting subsequent calls after you hit the rate limit. 
can also then finally here create routes the, route, the resources we created for pricing map those resources route those resources route those you know calls um to the particular upstream group that we created Add another resource for inventory and finally you can go ahead and publish all of this to the nginx plus api gateway that we have running on aws so it's very simple with just a few clicks we have created the entry point created upstream groups and defined our apis as well as published these publish these apis to the uh, nginx plus api gateway next up let's look at how we can after we after you've defined and pushed all our apis to the gateway how we can actually monitor performance metrics for the um, for the APIs that we have just published. Let's take a look at the overview dashboard. This is a built-in dashboard that just provides a quick overview of the health of your APIs. There's a application health score metric, which is an aggregate measure of how many successful requests you had and where these requests fulfilled in a timely manner. You also have other metrics like the total requests, if you had any 5xx errors, what was the CPU usage. So it's just a quick dashboard that you can take a look at first thing in the morning you come in before you have your first cup of coffee. Just have a look at this dashboard to make sure if there's any glaring problems or if everything is operating properly. And also use this dashboard to showcase the health of your environment to your senior management. In order to monitor the performance of your API gateways, controller provides a lot of charts out of the box. So you have, we have six different API gateways here deployed on different environments. And you have visibility into some basic metrics like connections per second, requests per second, you also have some visibility into system metrics and we've been running this. This is, this is what the chart looks like for the last hour, but you can also quickly click on the time frame to get visibility over a longer time horizon up all the way up to a week. And we see that the system CPU usage has been pretty, pretty decent, pretty, pretty low, you know, all the way from 15% to now just only 10% over the last week. You can also go ahead and create alerts. So let's say we want to create an alert. If the request count is above 10,000 in the last 10 minutes and you can specify the time frame from two minutes to all the way to one day and you can also specify which this particular rule which gateway should this this, should, this rule should apply to let's say you want to set this rule for the gateway that's deployed on aws as well as for the one on azure and you can then specify the email where you, where you should uh, where you would receive an alert when you have a request count over 10,000 in the last 10 minutes. This would imply basically if you have you know 10,000 requests in just 10 minutes, it could imply potentially a DDoS attack, and you really want to be alerted about that. You can just specify perhaps you know in this case just guest.nginx.com. So that's how you would monitor and troubleshoot any performance issues uh, by receiving alerts if a particular threshold if, if threshold is violated for a particular metric that's of interest to you so if you, if you think back about the life cycle all the way from definition publishing api gate publishing apis to the gateways ma traffic management securing your backend monitoring performance monitoring performance 
all of that is provided by API management model for Nginx controller. So there you have it. With just a few clicks, we have defined APIs, published these APIs to API gateways, secured the backend, and are able to monitor and troubleshoot any performance issues. You can get hands-on experience with the API management module by obtaining a free trial of Nginx controller from our website. Thank you.